Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. All right, we're now gonna take you through the upper limb neurological assessment, including reflex tests, myotomal testing, dermatomal testing, and upper limb tension tests. I'm now gonna take you through a series of tests to double check your nerves, all right? The first thing I'm gonna do is look at your reflexes. If I could borrow your right arm. Thank you. I'm coming across this way. Excellent, and then on here. Thank you. Then we'll go on this side. Thank you. And then on to here. Thank you. And then on to here. Excellent. I'm now gonna be having a look at the strength uh, around your neck and around your arms too. So I'm gonna start by asking you to push down towards the floor with your head. Excellent. And this time, can I ask you to take your neck backwards? Wonderful. Can I ask you to push down towards this side? I'm just gonna come around this way. Thank you, down towards the side. Excellent. And down towards the side. Excellent. Can I ask you to lift this shoulder up towards the ceiling? Excellent. And the same on this side. Excellent. Can I get you to put your arms like so? and I'm gonna ask you to push this right arm out to the side. Excellent. And then the same on this side. Excellent. Elbows like so. Can I ask you to bring the hand towards the ceiling? Excellent. And the same on this side. Excellent. Can I get you to bring your arms here? And then this one pushes down towards the floor. Excellent. And the same on this side, down towards the floor. Excellent. All right. I'm gonna ask you to put your hands in this position now, and I'd like you to lift the thumb up towards the ceiling. Excellent. And the thumb up towards the ceiling. Excellent. I'm gonna ask you to open your fingers, and I'm gonna start by putting my fingers in between yours, and I want you to squeeze together so that it stops my hand coming away. So, can you squeeze, and don't let me move. Excellent. This time, can you bring your fingers towards, out to the side. Excellent. This time, this is gonna go in here, and squeeze together. Excellent, and this time push your fingers apart. Excellent. I'm now gonna look at the sensation around your neck and shoulders, and then your arms as well. So I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes, and then I'm gonna test the sensation between the right and the left. I'd like you to tell me if there's any differences between the right and left sides, and if so, we're gonna look at how much. Could you close your eyes for me? So first of all, does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Excellent. Does this? feel the same as this? Yes. Good. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. Excellent. Can you bring your arm slightly to the side for me? Thank you. Can you tell me, does this feel the same as this? Great. Can you tell me, does this feel the same as this? Yes. Excellent. I'm just gonna lift up your hands a fraction. Does this Feel the same as this. Thank you. I'm going to turn your hands over. Does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Excellent. We'll bring you back to the middle. Does this feel the same as this? Great. And then finally, does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Fantastic. Would you mind having a lie down on your back for me, please? Thank you, and I'm gonna shuffle you a little bit towards my end of the bed, thank you. I'm now gonna go through some tests checking the nerves from the neck down to the arm. I'm just gonna reposition your head, thank you. And I'm just gonna start by bringing this elbow to here, and then to here.
Can you let me know if this recreates any pain in your neck or around the arm? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is bring you here. Turn you around. And bring your arm up to the ceiling, up to the side. Does this feel okay? Good. Now I'm going to push you down here. Turn this out. All feel okay? Yeah. Good. And then finally in this position, I'm going to turn you here. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Turn it around and then bring it towards you. Does that feel okay? Great. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Would you mind shuffling towards the other side of the bed? I'm just going to change your neck position like so. And then we're going to go through these again on this side. Feel okay? Yeah. Good. All okay? Good. All okay? Yeah. Good. And then finally. All okay? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Please have a sit up. And that completes our upper limb neuro assessment. And that completes our real time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resisted tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio, and we'll see you soon.